Gosh, everyone wants to know these days, how do I connect to my angels? Am I alone? Are they with me? How can I even hear them? So I thought we'd address that. So stick around and maybe you'll learn a few tools. I don't always share the story of how I began to paint, but I am now, I'm being called because what happened was I was in a difficult time in my life and I asked for angelic assistance. It's true. And I started to hear these messages. It was on Halloween 2013. And the message was paint 33 angels in 30 days. I was asking for help. They're saying paint 33 angels in 30 days. And what I realized is that even though it seemed roundabout, that was the answer to my solution, to my issue. Because once I started painting and I said yes, ultimately, this bookshelf fell off the bookshelf that says your call for angelic assistance has been heard. And then my guides gave me more. So once I painted and said yes and did those 33 angels, then they shared more information. And you wouldn't believe this. They have told me that the reason I've become a paintbrush for divine beings, and you can see that one up there, is because they want the angelics want humans to see them they want us to know what they look like they want us to feel their love and their guidance and to be open to receiving the wisdom and information from them so you remember that your angels are always with you and it's time to believe that for sure i am joan of angels so of course i talk to angels and i help remind you of how you can do it too Check me out at joanofangels.com. Here's what I want to say. Most of you and many of you have intuitive gifts and have this connection already, but you actually don't know how to use it. So the first thing we're going to do is do a little process where you're going to close your eyes. You're going to tune in. We're going to ask, okay, I'd like to feel the connection to my angels. So I want you to start by bringing your shoulders back. That's right, because you, did you know your scapular is actually also called your wings? So that shoulder blade of yours, so bring your shoulders back. And yes, we are surrounded by angels and here. It makes it easier to bring in angels if you have high frequency angelic art or angelic objects or crystals or wands all around you. All right, so we start by bringing our shoulders back. That's right. And then I want you to imagine right now on either side of you, an angelic being. And that angelic being is actually helping to bring out your wings. Just one wing at a time. Why? Well, because so many lifetimes, it was dangerous to be able to talk to your guides dangerous to connect to your angels, dangerous to believe that you were one who could walk around and, and bring in information and wisdom. You could lose your life. And many people did. They were accused of being witches. They lost their head. They were burned at the stake. They were drowned for being a witch. So, or an astrologer or someone who used dowsing rods, anyone who worked with the metaphysical or the interdimensional was considered dangerous. So of course, the shame of that and the loss of lifetimes really makes it very hard for people to connect. So let's try it again. So bringing your shoulders back and let's go one step deeper. Imagining now a scale on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being on your right, it's turned on and fully empowered and zero being on your left and it's like dead or it'll never happen. So if I was to say on a scale of one to 10, how open are you to connecting to your guides and angels with 10 being fully on, fully empowered, yes, I'm ready to go, or zero being, I no, never, ever, ever. Where do you fall on that scale? So I know a lot of the people that when I start to work with them, they're really more at a four or five. They would like to, but they've been finding it difficult. So if this is you, this is something you might want to reach out to me. How do I, how can I help you 
really connect with your guides and angels. So check out the website, www.joanofangels.com. But make sure it's time for you to fully empower yourself and to be able to connect with that voice within and connect to your guides.